Garden Crafts, Bird Stations. These bird stations add a decorative touch to any outdoor space and are made from readily available items. You will need terracotta drip trays, bamboo canes cut to slightly different lengths, acrylic or exterior paints in colors of your choice, paint brushes, an exterior varnish such as clear yacht varnish, optional, a selection of large ceramic or enamel cups, mugs, and small bowls, masking tape, an electric drill with ceramic and metal drill bits, exterior glue, cane toppers, bricks or large stones, optional, bird seed. Step one, paint the drip trays and canes in a variety of colors thinking about how these colors will work with your cups and bowls. Try matching or contrasting the colors of the trays and canes. Leave to dry, and if you want to add extra protection against the elements, add a coat of exterior varnish. Step two, drill a hole into the base of each of your cups and mugs. These will be the feeders. This will help rainwater drain away so that the feed doesn't get too waterlogged. Make a cross with masking tape where you want to drill for a neat finish and to prevent slipping. Don't drill into the base of the bowls as these will be used as water baths. Step three, glue a cane topper onto one end of each cane and leave to dry. Step four, apply glue to the tops of the cane toppers, then glue these to the middle of each of the painted terracotta drip trays. Leave to dry completely. Step five, apply several dabs of glue to the base of each cup or bowl and stick them in place on the saucers. Don't glue all the way around. Leaving space will allow water to drain out easily. Step six, insert the cane firmly into the ground. Support them with bricks or large stones if they feel a little loose. Step seven, fill the cups with bird seed and the bowls with water. Keep both regularly replenished and watch the birds flock to your garden. Care Advice The best position for your feeders is somewhere quiet so the birds won't be disturbed. A reasonably open and sunny spot is also ideal so they have a good field of vision, but keeping them near shrubs or plants means they can hide from predators. Clean out the feeders and remove any debris regularly, especially after long spells of wet weather. Change the water in the bowl frequently.